<sighs> so, uh, yeah, I just got back from Sinister 2. That is an hour and 36 minutes I will never get back in my life. I'm disappointed in myself. I really am. Some cultures believe the Bagul fed off of the corruption of innocence. It's the kids. He gets the kids. Children, have you ever met the bogeyman before? Can't you with me? Can't you with me? Can't you with me? Can't you with me? Sinister 2, rated R, August 28th. So, from the beginning of this video, you now know I am reviewing Sinister 2, which is the sequel to the horror film Sinister, which had Ethan Hawke in it, and I thought it was a pretty damn good horror film. I really enjoyed it and thought it was a pretty damn good horror flick. It had a lot of good stuff in it, a pretty original script, a lot of scariness, really creeped me out a lot. The Super 8 films in those things were really disturbing. They kept me up awake at night, and so did Bagul, who is one of the creepiest motherfuckers I have ever seen on screen. The dude is just a creepy mofo. Now we have the sequel, which is, on all honesty, one of the worst pieces of shit I've ever had the dish pleasure of watching because this movie fails on so many different aspects not just as a horror movie but as a piece of movie in general this is such a pile of dog shit it is a worthless disgusting excuse for a movie one of the worst things I have seen in my entire life you should avoid this at all cost I'm not just trying to persuade you, I am begging you, please do not go spend your money on this, do not spend your time on this, don't rent it when it comes out, do not give the people who made this any sort of money, do not give them your time, your time is precious, do not give it up to them, they don't deserve it, this movie doesn't deserve it, this movie deserves to burn in cinema hell forever. Why is it so bad? Every single reason you could think of actually on a movie aspect, just movies in general. It has a poorly, poorly written script with awful dialogue throughout it and stuff that just doesn't add up at all. You have uninteresting characters with bad performances all around from most of the cast. And in all honesty, I can't blame them. With such a piece of shit script like this, what else are you going to do? And as a horror movie itself, not scary whatsoever. Nothing was creepy, nothing was disturbing about this movie. One of the worst things about this thing is the Super 8 film aspect, which I really, really enjoyed the first one. It was one of the best parts of the movie was the Super 8 films. They were really creepy, really disturbing. They really got under my skin and kept me awake at night. This film, they try to bring that aspect back, but totally shit on it completely. The Super 8 films in this one are unrealistic. They don't make any sense at all, and they're just completely bullshit. I just want to give an example real quick. In the first one, at the end of the film, spoilers if you haven't seen the first one, go watch it and then come back to this review. But in the first one, at the end of the film, Ethan Hawke's family gets murdered by his own daughter. She poisons their cups and poisons all their food and drinks and stuff, knocks them unconscious, ties them up, and then axes them. That is uh, that is a pretty realistic thing for a kid who tries to commit murder. They, she didn't have to do anything out of the ordinary. She drugged them and then killed them while they were unconscious. And one of the worst Super 8 ones in this is the crocodile scene. This child somehow, somehow this child manages to string up her entire family over a river and has alligators jump up and bite their heads. That It's just stupid. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. It's not scary or disturbing at all. It's just pitiful. Another worst aspect of this movie is the fact that the kids in it. In the first film, the creepy kids in this mo in the movie, they show up, and they're really disturbing, they look really awful, they're really fucked up in the face, and they just really show up just to creep the hell out of you. In this one, they are in like 90% of the movie, they're shown way too much, they're overused, and the kids in this movie have such bad dialogue, they talk way too much. In the first film, they were really creepy because they were silent and very creepy, disturbing little kids. In this one, they're average kids. Nothing about them is creepy, nothing is disturbing, they're just douchebag little kids, and it just doesn't make the movie any better. It just takes away from it completely. And the worst aspect is Bagul. Bagul was one of the creepiest things I'd ever seen on screen in the first film. So disturbing, so creepy, so dis very visually disturbing. And in this film, they ruin it completely. Is he still weird looking? Yes. Is he still creepy looking? Yeah. But they wait, They use him way too much. He shows up at the worst times. In the first one, his appearances were very limited. And when he showed up, he just disturbed and creeped the hell out of you. In this one, shows up way too much. Very similar to the kids. So basically, they took the two aspects that made the first film very creepy. Actually, the three aspects that made the first film creepy. The Super 8 films, the creepy little children, and Bagul. All brought to this movie again and just completely shit on. They bring two of those aspects, the children and Bagul, to the front focus. And they work way better as side characters. 
characters and side ideas, but in this movie they tried to make them focal points of this movie, and they take that third aspect, the Super 8 films, which were really disturbing in the first one, completely mess them up in this one by making them unrealistic and unhorrifying, and altogether a combination of bad writing, bad directing, bad acting, a poor pathetic piece of shit excuse for a script, an unscary film, and you have one of the worst pieces of shit ever put on screen. I truly despise this movie. If I still did scores, I'd give it I'd give it in the negatives. That's how much I truly hated this film. People in my theater, all 12 of us, I'm glad that there's only 12 people because that means this movie's not going to make that much. Please don't go see it. Do not spend your money and don't spend your time on it. Use that hour and 36 minutes to do something else with your life. But the 12 people in this theater, including me and three other friends, so only eight other people who did not see, who went to see this movie, everybody was laughing their asses off. You should not be laughing in a horror film. You should be terrified of it. You should be scared. You shouldn't be laughing at the movie. People laughing at a horror movie speaks for itself right there that's all you need to know about this movie please don't go see it go see anything else anything else in all honesty every other movie in the theater is better than this movie at this point please avoid this at all costs don't rent it don't go see it in theaters don't pirate it off the internet it's not worth any of your time or money that's all i'm going to say about this i am jake booze if you want to hear more from me you should definitely hit that subscribe button make sure to like this video check out some of my other ones i just did a review on the man from uncle i'll put the link in that in my description down below let me know what you thought of the first sinister film and what's your favorite scary movie comment below let me know and i am out